Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about having the zodiac sign Virgo on the seventh house cusp in the natal chart. Now, with Virgo on the seventh house, uh, the first thing I want to clear up any misconception. This was uh, this is what inspired me to say this was some comment I saw somewhere uh, yesterday on a on a page somewhere and web page and that just because you have Virgo on the seventh house cusp doesn't necessarily mean you're going to marry somebody that has Virgo prominently in his or her horoscope, such as the sun, moon, or sun. And it can, it's simply what it is, is that you, you can, uh, you're, you may be attracted to somebody that has uh, Virgo like attributes, but it doesn't mean you won't find somebody that has Virgo prominent in their horoscope. So anyway, uh, and, and that is assuming if the person does marry or um, or even has a significant other for that matter. Now, anyway, the thing about Virgo on the seventh house cusp, one obvious conclusion I come to, I think, is that uh, the person uh, may be attracted to somebody that's analytical, that's verbose, that uh, communicates well, that's, uh, that's uh, somebody that uh, on the negative side, though, somebody that might be a little bit judgmental, sometimes maybe a little bit hypercritical, somebody that is very fastidious uh, with things, very detail-oriented, very punctilious with details, uh, because what this does is Pisces is rising, of course, when Virgo is on the seventh house cusp, and Pisces is about concepts more, and Virgo is more about details. So the details, this is kind of what Pisces is looking for in their life and defined organization. So this is the kind of person that um, Pisces rising may be attracted to. Also, the seventh house rules partnerships in general. So in they may be attracted to partnerships, whether it's business or just in, in well, I should say, I'm sorry, relationships in general. Now, as far as relationships in general, perhaps this is the area where Pisces might be a little bit more discerning and critical. And as far as the, the partnerships uh, go, if this person is in some kind of like a business, it, it I mean, could be in a business partnership, for example, and this could be something where they attract people that are very punctilious with details, that have a strong penchant for dotting the I's, uh, so to speak. And uh, this is a, a person, too, that might be... Um, might draw people into their lives, whether it's the significant other or what have you, that might even be people that have like Virgo-like type professions, like a systems analyst, somebody that's a cleaner uh, of some kind, such as a house cleaner, or somebody that uh, cleans cars, somebody that um, is a hygienist, perhaps, something where either a uh, detail-oriented type profession or something that has to do uh, with cleaning uh, and, and being really meticulous uh, about things. And uh, even even professions such as, like a, you could say, like a bookkeeper accountant has to do with details strongly. And this person might be attracted to these uh, people that might have uh, these professions as well. Now, we look at this also, and the seventh house also governs uh, open enemies or adversaries and it's likely if this person um, has confrontations with people these people can be the type of people that are very good uh, with details and remember all the, the right things so if something comes up and this person has a problem uh, with somebody that what they need to be wary of is that they may encounter people that have this Virgo like tendency to remember the time the date, the place, and everything that might be as far as their uh, details go. And it could also reflect that the person with this Pisces rising might actually show a little more of this uh, propensity or this penchant for details in the in matters connected with their open enemies or adversaries. The seventh house also uh, governs contracts and negotiations. So this could very well uh, be someone that if they're involved in any kind of wheeling and dealing with documents and, and they're in some kind of negotiation situation or contract uh, documents, they could be very filled with a plethora of details. So it's very important for Pisces rising to be very more discerning uh, than usual and really look at all the, and make sure all the, I guess the I's are dotted, so to speak, and everything 
is is what it's supposed to be uh, on on these contracts. It corresponds with what was promised uh, to him or her. So those are some things uh, to consider with if somebody has Virgo, I guess we could say the descendant or on the seventh house cusp uh, in a natal chart. Now, the one negative one negative with this is that if somebody has Virgo on the seventh house cusp. They they may not just attract somebody that's judgmental or, or critical. They have to make sure this person is not is not to a point where they're such a neat freak that they just drive the the Piscean rising person crazy. Because the Pisces Pisces rising obviously being a water sign can be very sensitive and can be emotional. And if they bring somebody in, into a relationship with him or her that is like overly analytical and overly scrutinizing with this, and, and, and this thing has to be immaculate, this has to be organized, this has to be in this set place, it might, it could bring, it could wreak havoc on the, on the Pisces to some degree, Pisces rising person, I should say. So that's something uh, to consider. But all in all, a Virgo-like personality is obviously can be very beneficial and advantageous to Pisces rising because, as I stated before, Pisces is not the type that's going to uh, really is not so enamored with the details in, in the Virgo personality is, and that's really the thing that Pisces does need in their um, can need strongly in their relationships. So anyway. People, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for having Virgo on the seventh house cusp in an natal chart. Stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about having the zodiac sign Libra on the seventh house cusp in an natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.